Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and being a producer of Wrestle Massacre, as well as Inside Movies Galore, I am David Streggy, and welcome to Delusions of Grandeur. Enjoy the reviews. I certainly did. college flunkies. I've had enough of this from you and from everyone else. I know what you guys are trying to do. Break me down, drive me out of the force. Well, it's gonna take a hell of a lot more than a lame prank like this to get Curtis Mooney to throw in his badge, so fuck you. Over. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Delusions of Grandeur. I'm your host, David Stregge, and here I have another review for you. I know it's been some time I'm just getting over laryngitis um, on the last bout of some bronchitis, and uh, um, I decided to go on about a a film that is uh, quite unusual. Um, it's a Turkish film, and it's dubbed badly, but uh, but not too badly, because the voices go with the characters. But they're not exactly aligned with the uh, the mouth, so it kind of reminds me of a, a Japanese uh, Go uh, Gojira Godzilla kind of a film. But um, having it uh, been filmed in Turkey and having Turkish actors and what uh, whatnot, it uh, it kind of intrigued me because originally it was called. Del uh, originally it was called Delealer, um, which is kind of like a term that these uh, the uh, these seven fearless men of uh, the Ottoman army fought against Vlad in in the years of his downfall uh, of fall and his destruction. Vlad the Impaler was a Turkish ruler um, who was known either as the son of the devil or the son of the dragon. And uh, Vlad Tapis, he was played by Erikan uh, Petakaya. Um, and he kind of had an iron rule over his domain and uh, he became quite well known for impaling people uh, along the road to his castle high up on a rock um, so um, this is a dramatization at first I thought it was a document a documentary um, but uh, it ended up being more of a dramatization after some narration. Um, and there was a character uh, character that was very coolly dressed. Um, many of these warriors with the Ottoman army were in wolfskins and uh, warrior like armor 
and one of them had black wings. So I thought that was kind of interesting. And uh, each character was a little different. One of them was nameless, only for, uh, for the fact that he had not quite earned his right to have a name within the war uh, uh, their um, warrior army. Um, there was one amongst them that was called the Silent One. He was my favorite. Um, he kept having flashbacks of being told to stay quiet by one uh, that uh, that was under Vlad himself. So each of these warriors had um, a sort of hatred for someone within the uh, uh, Vlad Tepes uh, army. And uh, I thought it was interesting how humane uh, these soldiers were shown um, as they went along. There was a village that was... Uh, that was ransacked and people were murdered and uh, there was a child and a young woman that uh, were in this village and they were saved by uh, these warriors that were dispatched um, and I thought it was also interesting that all of these warriors fought for Allah what they uh, what they believe was their god and uh they mentioned something about how religion wasn't persecuted where they were from and there was a moment where one of their own was um was laughing uh non-stop and there was something said by uh, by their leader that um, they were not to make fun of, um, I think uh, the silent one was silent and the other one was laughing. And do not make fun of the, uh, those who laugh and do not uh, make fun of those who are silent. It does not matter in, in the kingdom of heaven who we are, all are matters of uh, uh, what what we do in life or something like that and I, I liked that concept of humanity that that was shown um in this particular dramatization um and i guess it's also an interesting uh point uh to make that you do not need thousands and thousands of people to go up against one strong army. All you need is a few strong warriors and the faith to, uh, to, uh, that you will overcome. <coughs> and that's what these warriors did. Um... That being said, I thought that this was an interesting uh, piece. The, uh, my my biggest thing is, um, they marketed this to uh, to be about Vlad the Impaler, and it was, but I think it was more about the the army, uh, the Ottoman army, and uh, the uh, their their journey, and uh, it showed another side of uh, Vlad the Impaler, um, his cruelty, and what he was able to do with that cruelty. Um, you, I mean, it was amazing to see all those people piped all the way up to his uh, uh, fortress. Um, for... For a film that that seems to have been done with a very low budget, they made this look like it was a Hollywood-like film. 
Um, I really liked the 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 dress that uh, that I, I think whoever uh, was involved in, in designing the wardrobe for many of these characters was like spot on. Um, um, there's there's a lot that I could say about this uh, this film before you know other people see it. I I would say go see it. Um, get a chance to see, uh, see it. It's not a bad dramatization. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, this is a film that's not within my collection as of yet. Um, but um, I thought it was interesting that it's called The Hunt for Vlad the Impaler, and it's also called Vlad the Impaler. And uh, but uh, it was originally called um, Deliler. Um, and it was uh, put together by Angel Film Yapin. Um, distributed by, it looks like it was distributed by, um, for digital media, but it was directed by Osman Kaya. So I hope that, um, Y'all get a chance to uh, uh, to see this film. I love the poster for this uh, film. It's definitely wicked. The uh, uh, the men in here they uh, they, uh, they definitely look the parts. I was impressed with this um, Turkish film. Um, evidently it came out in November of last year, but. Um, we only just now see it here in the uh, in the Americas um, within the last month or so. So, in any case, thank you for listening. Have a great day, evening, or morning, wherever you are. I appreciate your time spent here on this page, and thank you for watching. Uh, definitely check the film out, though. I recommend it. Thank you, and uh, check out some of my other reviews. Thank you so much. You were good, kid, real good. But as long as I'm around, you'll always be second best, see?